Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Farming Roots here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. This is the series where I take you map by map throughout the pre-sequel and show you guys the best route to take in order to pick up every single loot source possible. That's chests, little secrets and easter eggs that may have uh, reward drops and uh, also any available bosses on that map for a chance of their legendary and unique drops. So today we are carrying on through the uh, main vanilla game and uh, we're actually going to be hitting up Tycho's ribs in this one. So this is uh, pretty close to the end of the game um, of the vanilla maps but we will be doing DLC maps don't worry. So anyway as you start off in Tycho's ribs there are two vendors in front of you. Check them you never know when there's a good chance of getting a legendary or unique in there. Uh, and after that just make your way all the way down and to the left hand side. Uh, through this uh, lift area and then down into the first section on your left hand side clear a few enemies out outside if you want to and then head into this first little split slash branch off into uh, this area here uh, and there's a secret little uh, chest room actually in this area here but to open it you're gonna have to spawn the uh, the main uh, guardian kind of thing so uh, you will need to take out all these enemies right here there's also a chest up there I've not showed this go up there there's a jump pad right there on the map pause it if you were couldn't see exactly where the arrow was but I, it's only a normal doll chest but I completely missed it so uh, I do apologize about that but I realized in editing afterwards uh, so after you've opened that and killed all the enemies up here you will see that uh, this person here will appear it's uh, an arch excelled once you kill her um, this chest room will be open now in here you've got a doll chest uh, ammo crate doll chest a big doll chest another doll chest and yet another doll chest so uh, loads of little doll chests right there couple of ammo crates but uh, it's that big red doll chest you want to hit up because that's the one that's going to have the best gear in it uh, pretty much the best chest in the game to open so after that head on out and uh, make your way back down to the area where you came from uh, and we're going to be hitting the next branch uh, in the uh, the run down to Tycho's ribs um, which takes you to Elysir so keep going all the way down you'll follow this ramp and head into this next little branch split here um, there will be quite a few enemies in here as well, so if you want to take them out first, that's fine. I'm just going to run straight past them. And uh, you're going to look for this little pillar ramp here in the middle on the left-hand side. Come to the right-hand side of it, drop down, and there's a very well-placed hidden um, moon chest, as well as a small dial chest as well. And a small dial chest is quite easy to see as you're running past it. But uh, as you can see, that small moon chest really isn't very easy to see at all. So after that, we're just going to move on, and uh, we're going to come out here. Uh, next to this elevator there is a jump pad hit this jump pad right here and swing to the left hand side and land on this platform because we're hitting the super mario easter egg right now so unfortunately there are no bosses or anything like that on this map it is just a straight run through map um, which is a bit of a shame sometimes because it's nice to have a different thing than just opening chests on a route like this but as you can see right here um, we are in a little easter egg area and this is actually one of the best easter eggs in the game because not only uh, is it pretty cool to have uh, Mario showing uh, the easter egg of the first Mario game but uh, there's also a secret within a secret in here and plenty of chests to open as well so the first thing you want to do is take out a load of enemies and you're going to wait for the gates to open you can see there's the blue bars in front of me right now uh, they will open once you kill the enemies uh, so there's quite a lot of these guys to kill and you might run out of ammo but luckily there's plenty of ammo crates around absolutely everywhere now I get a little bit turned around here so uh, I've taken a cut and uh, actually gone to uh, the area where I'm supposed to go because I couldn't find it I actually ran right back to the beginning I don't know why I lost my bearings a little bit but uh, yeah anyway you want to head for this area right here them gates will open once you've taken out all these enemies and uh, this is your first part of the uh, easter egg little treasure room uh, to open all your loot up so there's a small um, red moon uh, sorry blue moon let me try that one again there's a small red moon chest as well as a um, two small dial chests and a load of ammo crates as well to open up there so that's pretty handy three chests to open in this little area but for all of you that uh, know what's coming this is the secret or inside the secret and uh, yeah it's running along the top of the map uh, which is of course the mario uh, easter egg so uh, come to the middle and head for this block over here it's quite easy to get up here you've just got to know the uh, the right route just keep jumping all the way up and into this middle block right here 
and then just jump straight across to uh, over uh, here and there is a vault symbol just there as well if you want to pick that way here but you're just going to be running along the very top of the map uh, into this little section right here and uh, to the left hand side just now below is the first treasure room that we've just opened those chests on keep running along and you can actually hit the secret second treasure room right here uh, drop down and once again another red moon chest and two small dial chests to open and a load of ammo crates so uh, yeah six chests in one little area pretty good if you ask me and uh, all you have to do after that is grab the loot and uh, head on out you can head down any of these pipes here the furthest away pipe on the right hand side takes you further back so uh, depends where you want to land but it'll all take you back to the main area no matter what I'd prefer to hit the middle one actually that takes you uh, to where we want to be next so uh, unfortunately we're going to have to run all the way back where we just came from that was the first branch split that we hit that secret treasure room this is the second one where we opened the uh, the very well hidden uh, moon chest and uh, this is the ramp where we hit last time so we're going to want to hit that ramp again this time but instead of swaying to the left and heading up to the secret uh, easter egg area you're just going to glide all the way straight forward and head towards uh, a little guy who gives you a quest it's actually called uh, zen trap so if you know where zen trap is head over here run straight past him to the left hand side there's zen trap and uh, right at the back here slightly to the left is another small dial chest for you to open up and then unfortunately after that it's just a case of making your way out and uh, to the main area of uh, the gauntlet down to um Elise here and uh, yeah there's only one more chest to open up so drop down to the very lowest level and then just make your way through a load of enemies down this big branch uh, over here and head to the left hand side once you get to the end run all the way down again and uh, you're going to be going to that area where the big cannon is uh, where you've got to stand in front of it and get one of the guys to shoot the barrier for you uh, so this is the area right here just before the cannon uh, head to the left hand side jump up to the very top level and there is a big red dial chest for you to open as well and uh, yeah that is actually it guys that is all there is to know about Tycho's ribs a uh, bit of a uh, you know ins and outs of this and that and uh, going off into branches and coming back and uh, not all honestly the best area to farm for as well but like I said there's no bosses in here which is a bit of a shame a couple of big red dial chests to open up though but uh, the main thing to come to this place uh, it's just to have a good laugh go to that Super Mario Easter Egg I think that's the best appeal to it anyway thank you guys for watching that is another episode of Ultimate Farming Roots here on Borderlands 3 sequel that was Tycho's Ribs next episode we will be hitting up Elysia, um which is going to be quite an easy one really there's not a lot in there apart from the end boss but uh, hey we'll give it a go anyway but yeah thank you guys for watching really hope you've enjoyed another episode and I'll see you in the next one